You mentioned the Mahoshi special. Was that uh, anime or manga? Anime. Anime. Yeah, the Mahoshi special is anime. And it's it's actually out there on the it's the it's the pretty Sammy Mahoshi special that they, that they put into a DVD compilation. So it's the very first concept and episode of Pretty Sammy Magical Girl and Mahoshi, which is the introduction of Kione as a party. Is any of that connected to the magical Sami cooking club thing I saw in the swap? No, the they the technically the storylines are separate. However. There's so many characters in the universe of, or in the whole genre of Tenchi Muyo that characters do cameos <coughs> back and forth. For example, a cameo would be in Tenchi in Tokyo. Tenchi's, one of Tenchi's teachers uh, is actually uh, a teacher in El Hazard, who's All one right. of the main characters in El Hazard. And he does a cameo in Tenchi Tokyo as a teacher. <laughs> so, so it, you know. So, you know, you, if you've seen that, you go, yeah. I know that character. And he has the same name, doing the same job. So it, it's, it's a lot of silly comedy like that. And it, even in the Pretty Sami, uh, the Pretty Sami series, you have cameos, you have characters that have been rewritten for the series, like Washu. Yeah, is, is, has, was rewritten for the Pretty Sammy series, so, yes. I think it's interesting, especially there, I mean, I mean, uh, when it comes to, you know, the shippers, I think it's interesting, you know, some have just got the, you know, uh, you know, the uh, idea, just simplify it with all the above, because, you know, in terms of it seems uh, okay, because polygamy is practiced with the uh, dry family, so... <laughs> Oddly enough, yeah, true. you're right. Um, <laughs> I think a lot of it boils down to the idea of you have your, your wife, and then you live for so long that your wife and you decide to pick up a mistress, or two, <laughs> or three. three. Or ten. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and so it... it, it in the in the universal outlook of things, it's almost a an acceptable practice as long as it, it, and this is really touched on in Tenchi Muyo GXP as long as the husband takes care of everybody. So you know financially anyway, <laughs> you know so it's like the husband has to provide for all the wives, and even if that wife has a uh, like. A, um, a love interest, like a guy on the side, he has to take care of her enough that she can take care of him. So, it's, so the emperor of Jirai, it's understandable that he it, he's just kind of one of those guys like, oh, I didn't know this person. Nice to meet you. You, you know her? Oh, you, you know her. <laughs> ah, whatever. You know, it's, it's gotten to the point where it's, you know, a thousand years of of that, it would become so second nature for, for, for a lot of these people. It's really hard for us to understand because we, we live this long, so it, it works. Uh, oddly enough, I'm surprised nobody has asked me about like the trees of dry or yeah. anything like that. Like the really crazy stuff, like you go scratch, scratch, what? So we have a couple minutes left. Did they ever tell you what they wrote that? God, that goddess person is in the uh, OVA, I think yeah. They do. Uh, you're referring to Tsunami, Swashu, and... Um, and the, uh, the, the other person's background. <laughs> right, right, it's, uh, it's um, I forgot what her name is. Okay. Something with an M. It's yeah, on the tip of the mentions her name. Uh, uh, I, yeah, it's, it's mentioned a lot. But what it is, what you find out is, Sasami, or sorry, not Sasami, Tsunami, Washu, and her. Uh, ah, I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, I can't remember. Tokimi? But they are. Was it, the was it Tokimi? Yeah. Something like that. That's, yeah, I think that sounds right. Yeah, like it's Tokimi. Yeah, like Thank you. Uh, but you should have said something. Yeah. Oh, I just said it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, they are uh, extra dimensional, high dimensional beings. And basically what they are is they're, they're beings that have evolved to the point of being 
pure essence and energy. And they take on personas of their original selves just so they have identity. And they, you find out that they're sisters. They all, they are all related to each other sister-wise. And you find out that the three of them decided we are so, we, we are gods, plain and simple. They're gods. And they decide we've done the whole life through the universe's things. Let's see if we can create one of ourselves. Let's see if we can create another high dimensional being. Because, you know, so we can have children. And so they created a huge experiment to create that next super dimensional being. And that is the whole, the wings of light, uh, Tenchi is kind of like the uh, antithesis of that, where he's, uh, Washu and Tsunami basically took uh, unimportant roles in the universe and tried to kind of control the universe a certain way to create an anomaly. And that anomaly was Tenchi. And then Tokimi said, well, these two are doing their thing according to the, the rules of the universe. I'm gonna come back and break the rules of the universe to see if I can get the same result. And that's where you get Z in the third OVA, was her version of Tenchi. And so eventually, Z realizes he is a broken anomaly. He, he's not gonna work. And so he sacrifices himself to save Tenchi at the end of the third OVA because he realizes Tenchi is the real thing. And in the end of it all, you realize the three sisters see Z sacrifice himself to save uh, Tenchi from Tokimi because Tokimi's pissed that Tenchi's better than Z. <laughs> and then you find out that all the three sisters realize, whoa, let's back off. We're really screwing up the universe. Let's rewind reality, start again, and make sure this doesn't happen. And so that's why there's a lot of confusion in the end of the third OBA because literally time gets flip-flopped on its end. At the same time, they introduce a character that you, uh, you find out, let's see, the, <coughs> the girl that he finds in the past who ends up being the essence of Kagato, and you find out Kagato was a transvestite. <laughs> no, a transvestite. No, hermaphrodite, sorry. Yeah, hermaphrodite, right, that's transvestite. right. That's right, sorry. So you can, <laughs> it gets very, very confusing. However, it makes sense, despite it all. But in the end, um, they, they were trying to create a, a new extra super dimensional being. Uh, Tenchi was the final result. So Tenchi truly has the potential to become like Washu Tsunami and Tokimi. However, he has decided not to pursue that as himself. So he has the potential to be as powerful as them, which is mind blowing. So, and that's kind of where the, the third OVA finishes, is Tenchi going, I like life the way it is, let's just live life like that. And Tokimi goes, I like this, this is fun, and she, she re, uh, res, uh, kind of falls back into her childlike self, and that's why you get the kind of like the child, super, mm -hmm. you know, super deformed version of her for like the last two episodes. So. I'm sure I've confused the hell, of you, hell out of you. Yeah, I have no idea. I never even knew that the... I thought I had the third OVA. Apparently I missed something entirely, you know. Right. Well, was Funimation produced it. Yeah, Funimation did produce it so they could bring it to America. Yeah, I was explain it. It was originally broadcast uh, in 04 in Japan. And then, or no, 03 in Japan. They finally brought it to the United States in 04. 5, 06, 07, 07 when people realized, oh, it's here, and they started buying it because they had it in a box set. So, but, yeah, it's, it's time to call it a day. Uh, thank you. I, I hope I sufficiently confused you and uh, <laughs> you, 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 you,